In this session, let's understand how the data is stored in the Oracle database. Okay? A database is divided into one or more logical storage units called table spaces. These table spaces are further divided into logical units of storage called segments and further these segments are divided into extents. These extents are nothing but your collection of contiguous data blocks. Like this data in Oracle database is represented in this logical form. Okay, here the table spaces logically organize the data that are physically stored in the data files. A table space belongs to only one database and has at least one data file that is used to store the data for the associated table space. Since the name is telling that it is a table space, don't think it stores only table data. It stores all the database objects like indexes, views, tables, materialized views, sequence, etc. A table space can have multiple data files, but at the least should have minimum one data file. Since a table space can have multiple data files, you can create a Oracle database which is very very large. A table space can have multiple data files, but a data file can only be associated with a single table space. Remember that point. Okay? And we all know at the end of the day, these data files are stored in the storage system. Your storage system can be a SAN network or a NAS or a NFS or a ASM or a Exadata or a raw file system or your regular file system. We will learn about these various storage systems later on. Okay. But these storage systems are used to store your data files. Okay, on the left hand side, this is your logical way of storing and on the right hand side, this is the physical way of storing the data in the database. Let's take a look at a different representation. Okay, a table space, a table space can have multiple data files. You see here, this table space has data file 1 and data file 2 and a data file is comprised of data blocks. You see, each data block is 8 KB size and a collection of contiguous blocks make up an extent. You see, the sum of all these 8 blocks is 64. So, your extent is 64 KB. Similarly, here data file 2 has 8 KB blocks and a set of contiguous blocks make up an extent. If you sum all these blocks, the size is 96 KB and a group of extents make up a segment. You see here the segment is 64 KB and here the segment is 96 KB. So since we are grouping these two extents together, it's 160 KB. If you notice here, this segment is made up from two different data files. You see segment, extent and this extent is coming from data file 2 and here this extent is coming from data file 1. So literally this segment is made up of blocks made from data file 1 and data file 2. Okay. Now let me show you one more diagram. This is the entire database and we know a database can contain multiple table spaces. Here we have table space 1, table space 2 and each table space has its own data files. Here table space 1 has couple of data files and table space 2 has couple of data files and again it is further organized into blocks, extents and segments. Okay. Remember this diagram if needed print this and paste it on the wall so that you can daily look at the diagram and understand how data is logically and physically stored in the Oracle database. Okay. Now let's learn a little bit more about a data block. A data block is the smallest unit of storage in the Oracle database. Okay. Normally in an operating system, data is stored in bytes. Whether you read or write, it is in the form of bytes. But in a case of a Oracle database, it is 
data blocks whether oracle is writing or reading we say oracle is writing data blocks or oracle is reading data blocks literally it is the smallest unit of storage in a oracle database okay a database block is made up of a common and variable header table directory row directory free space and row data the common and variable header contains the general block information such as the block address and the type of segment example whether the segment is a data or an index segment the table directory contains the information about the table having rows in the block and the row directory contains information about the actual rows in the block it contains the addresses of each row piece in the row data area row data this is where the actual data for the rows is stored and free space is the one which is free and is used to insert any new rows okay in lot of places we'll be talking about data blocks or blocks remember this this is the smallest unit of storage in a oracle database and every time oracle reads or writes it is in the form of data blocks okay